This is online journalism. My name is Xavier with an X and today we're going to talk about news sources. What are the sources where we can find lots of news? This is lesson number three of our online journalism course. Okay, so action! Okay, we've been talking about the news, how to get a good news report, and what is news. Now let's talk about the news sources. What is a news source? It's a place where you will find more than one news item. For instance, a government office. Government offices, because they're related to the general life of a community, often have a bunch of news. Police, obviously, the police is every, everywhere there's a problem, a robbery, or uh, a strike, or I don't know, anything. The police will have information about that. The fire department, yeah, if there's a fire, you have to go to the fire department to see what are the details of that specific fire, or, or if there is a fire at that moment, and you're live covering it. If you're doing some uh, reporting on education or a school paper, obviously the school principal is a good source of news, or the principal's office. And uh, also people like, like the coach of the football team, or a leader of the community, or a non-government organization, an NGO, will have some information about your community or in general about the life in, in your town. We always know that there's lots of people, they may not have any official uh, designation, I mean, they're not the mayor, but they're always in every committee, maybe some senior citizens that are very active or a guy who is worried about, about the ecology. So you have to find and pinpoint those news producing offices and people, okay? Because if you get to a government office and you, go just, you just go to the public relations um, department, you'll get probably a, a, a piece of paper with the main uh, things they did that week, and that's going to be the same for every newspaper, for every other media that is covering the government. So you need something else. You don't want to have what everybody has. I mean, what's the difference? You would like to have more. So, for instance, if you go to the fire department, uh, probably it's better to have friends in the fire department. Maybe try to sneak in the, the cafeteria of the fire department and talk to the firemen. Hey, what's happening? Blah, blah, blah. And, and so you get some feedback of, of the new projects, of, of different things. They're going to get an, a new fire engine or they're going to open a new fire station in, in another neighborhood. So you have to be taking what I, what I call taking care of your source. Be friendly. Be coming in probably every week. You don't have to spend the whole morning. Just drop by. Hey, what's happening? Any, any, you're, you're, you're not going to say, is there any news for me? No, you say, is there anything interesting happening? Um, because people, and I've said that before, don't know what news is. So, but they do know if there's something interesting, if there's something um, worthwhile uh, talking about. So you, you, you have to have friends in the news source. You have to be friendly with the news source and you have to identify who in that government, police station, as uh, principal's office is the person who is that has the sense, the feeling for news. So you may go to the principal's office and maybe the principal doesn't have any idea of, of news or doesn't like to talk about 
uh, anything. But maybe the um, secretary is very friendly and she knows everything that's happening. So, well, next time you just bring a little chocolate for the secretary. And, uh, and that, that's going to be making a little relationship. And uh, you are going to get a little more attention from her. So the idea is to identify the source. So in a government office, even though they can be the guys in charge of public relations, they may not be the best uh, um, source of information in, in that government office. Could be, could be uh, let's say, the, uh, the guy in the, uh, the policeman that's standing in the front door that he has uh, 30 years in that post and he knows everybody, he knows everything. So that could be the guy that will give you um, the best news in, 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 the, in the institution. Okay, so you have to identify the source, identify the guy that have the feeling, the taste, the, the nose for news and be friends with them, be friendly and, and, and when I mean friendly, I mean professionally friendly, and that will give you uh, an edge on news. And uh, secretaries are, are great. Uh, I remember one time that uh, there was a news concerning a um, mayor in a local town, and he was in a big mess, and uh, obviously he didn't want to talk, but I, I had made very uh, nice relationship with the secretary and, and she told me, he's leaving by the back door. So I just went out the back door and, and I got an interview. I was the only one at the back door um, interviewing the, the mayor. Okay, so that's good. Now, number two step on today's lesson. What to write in your notebook. Well, first of all, I like to have a notebook like this one. It's small, it, it, it's uh, resistant, and it's great to write the simple data you need when you are covering news. Okay, if you want to use a tablet, I'm not a tablet guy, but I'm, I'm sure you could, you could use a tablet. Anyway, you will keep this for the rest of your life and each time you finish one of these you just put it in a box in the, in the garage and, and leave it there because you're always going to want to come back and get some information from this uh, older um, news gathering you're, you're going to be doing if you're a professional journalist probably. Okay, so what are the things you should write in this, let's call them informative interviews to gather news. I'm not talking about the really deft interview that you spend, you know, like four hours with a, with a very famous person. No, no, I, I'm talking about very short, quick interviews, you know, like 10 minutes to gather information, to gather the everyday news, okay? We're talking about everyday news. So, what should I write in the book? I should write the names. The names. Why? Because you forget the names and you forget the spelling. So, when you write the names, be sure to get the spelling correctly. Okay? Put here names. And Remember, correct spelling. Okay, dates, very important, dates. If there are some dates in the information, put the dates. That's things you m could forget very easily. Numbers, you need to write down the numbers and that is a way to make sure you're not making a huge mistake in some numbers. I mean, you just can't remember all the numbers. Okay, write down the numbers. The main issues. 
When I say the main issues, I am referring to the main issues. I mean, don't write everything down. There's no time. You have to remember, you have to listen. So you will get the, the big idea, the basic idea, keep it in your head and write the main issues. So you could remember, or let's say the main topics, okay? Another thing I would recommend writing is if there's technical language or technical information or scientific information, I mean, that's hard to remember, so write it down. Uh, well, regarding the name, if the guy, you know, is the general manager, write, you know, such and such, Will Smith, general manager. And because uh, nobody wants to, to be designated in a different uh, uh, position they have. Okay, my experience, and I love doing this because it helps me a lot when I am um, putting the, the news together, I love to make uh, graphic elements. So when I'm doing the, the, the taking the, all the data, all the facts, I, I put, you know, like triangles or I round it up. I just do something like this or this. And it's my personal, my personal uh, code. So um, if it's a triangle, I know it's a, um, maybe a lady. Or if it's something circular, I know it's important. Or if it's uh, uh, something, uh, it depends. But have your own code. So when you're checking everything, easily you will see what more or less is, is the, uh, the thing coming. It, it's, it's for speeding up your, your reading of the notes. OK, very important, be sure that what you think the general manager said was really said by him because you're going to interview very quick interviews of, of different people so between each interview you draw a line in your notebook could you see the line there I'm not sure well you draw a line in your notebook so what is from this line to this line is said by the general manager. From here to here is said by the police guy. And, and, that, and that way you will be sure that this quote corresponds to that guy, okay? Because that will be terrible to put in somebody else's mouth what he didn't say. Okay, so Let's um, simplify the notes, as I told you before. Why? Because there's no time, and when you simplify, you always remember the most important things. Okay? So, I wouldn't recommend to record all the interview for uh, informative interviews. Because then you have to go to the, to the newsroom and Start from the beginning. Start from the beginning. You lost all the time. Or, or you have to do everything twice. Okay, so when you have your notes, you have to simplify. And I would recommend that maybe you don't do the script writing that same day. Maybe the next day. Not too far away, you can't do it the next month because you forgot everything. But let's say you go the next day or um, late afternoon, early evening, and you begin to remember the things you have in your notes. That way you will be making a, let's say, getting all the not so important things out of the information. So it's a, it's a filter. So your mind will be like a filter. Okay, let's have an example. Let's have an example. Let's say you have a school paper and you drop by the coach's office. 
you go to the coach and you ask him, is there any news? He will say no. There's no, no news. But then you see that there's a new t-shirt for the football team in his desk with a new design. And you say, well, what, that's, a, that's a neat t-shirt. And you, is that a new design? Yeah, sure, it's a, a new design for this season. And uh, he will tell you that it was a design made by one of the um, students of your school. And it's the new um, symbol of the, of the football team. It's a tiger. And the colors are different. They used to be black and white. Now they're red and yellow. So you would have this like first um, news gathering interview with the coach. He's going to tell you that there's a new t-shirt that the colors are new, colors, colors, and that it was designed by a kid in your school. So you got a little information there for a nice article, and then you go and interview the kid or the student that made the design. and you will have a very quick interview with him. Why did he, well, he was a, a talented uh, student from the art class, and uh, so he has some background in art, and he made the design in, in, a, in a school project, and uh, let's put project here, and that he is uh, nine years old, Okay, so then you find out that the cheerleaders are doing some new routine for the opening game where they're going to uh, see for the first time the new t-shirt and um, you go interview the, 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 the cheerleaders. Let's put some cheerleaders here. And the cheerleaders will say, uh, well, they talk about the routine and uh, their training, you know, like, I don't know how many times, let's say every week, weekly, let's put here weekly, because they want to have the best presentation and they're doing some new, uh, rah, because there's a tiger, you have to do like, rah, you know, something like that. Okay, so this is what we call informative interviews for news gathering. This is very quick, very fast, and the thing is for you to have the basic material to start and construct the news. Let's call it script. It's very simple, but it's, it's sort of a script. The news for the online journalism, television, um, radio, newsletter, or whatever you're doing. Okay, so let's, let's say that you, you got a camera or your, your um, smartphone and you, when you went to the coach, you took a picture of the t-shirt. That means there's a picture. You took a picture of the student that was making the design in his art class and you took a picture of the cheerleaders practicing. And if we want to get uh, a little bit more complicated, you can interview a couple of students so they, to, to get their reaction on the new mascot or the new design for the uh, t-shirt, okay? So with these things ready, we can go to the next lesson. So my homework is, and hear the whistle for the homework, my survival whistle. Okay, homework. Go to somebody that is friendly. Could be a neighbor, could be a teacher, could be a relative, and 
try to do some news gathering informative interviews so you can get all the information okay you can get all the information you're not gonna process it yet that's the next lesson the idea is to have all the elements for the news have um, the basic informative interviews have some pictures and with that material would be like the uh, the blocks of a construction we will put together the next lesson the news report okay